Do it again. Do it again. Hey you guys, Erin here at Eat Move Rest and welcome back to the channel. So in this week's video, we're piggybacking off of last week's video and we're gonna be diving deeper into the science of happiness by looking at the four main chemicals that can trigger your happiness. These four main neurotransmitters are dopamine, serotonin, endorphins, and oxytocin, otherwise known as do something extraordinary. To sum it up, here is what the happy chemicals are all about. Dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin, and endorphins are the quartet of chemicals responsible for your happiness. So while there are many events that can trigger these neurotransmitters, we don't want to be in the passenger seat. So there are a handful of things you can do to actually boost your happiness. We're going to share some of those hacks with you because the happier you are, the more productive you are, the more motivated you are, the more you can accomplish in this life to live your best life. First order of the day is movement and much like Dusty and I look at the body through a holistic perspective, not just the individual components, we look at these chemicals in the same way. So when I'm moving my body, I'm naturally getting a release of endorphins. Maybe I'm achieving a goal, so by the end of my workout, I get that dopamine rush. And maybe I'm exercising outdoors, which is fantastic for boosting serotonin levels. So I think you guys get the idea. These are very interchangeable. They work together in harmony to create a happier, healthier whole being. That being said, each of these components do have a separate angle, which we'll kind of touch on. But getting back to movement, first thing in the morning, we like to get in some exercise of some sort, whether it's inside or outside, lifting weights, or just using body weight and running and dancing and jumping. Even though it initially makes you tired, it ends up giving you energy for the rest of the day. And it's kind of a nice accomplishment to have under your belt. So you have peace of mind and it gives you motivation and momentum to carry you through the rest of the day's activities. So while exercise releases or boosts a lot of these chemicals, the one that it kind of makes me think of most is endorphins, which are primarily known as the pain reliever. Great examples of things that would boost endorphins in your body would be movement, exercise, and laughter, orgasms, and dance. Vitamin B and C rich foods, and there are even some superfoods like cacao and maca and guarana. Rounding it back to exercise and working out, this is a tried and true way to kind of schedule an endorphin booster into your day first thing every single day. So. It does take motivation, I know. It's hard to work out every single day. But something I've been doing since early October of last year is working out with an online personal trainer. Her name is Lori and she lives here in Florida where we are currently at, so I kind of feel connected to her. And she's a personal trainer through the Future app, which has been phenomenal. So essentially what you get to do is peruse through different trainers until you find one that fits your lifestyle perfectly. You get to engage in a conversation with them and tell them which equipment you do and don't have access to, what your goals are, what your needs are, if you have any limitations, and they design the perfect workouts just for you. They hold you accountable. There's a little chat box. You can choose different playlists and everything syncs up to your Apple Watch. And if you don't have an Apple Watch, they will send you one as long as you are a member of Future, which is incredible. It has helped me with my body awareness and the mind-body connection so much just to be able to see it on my watch and learn how many calories I'm burning, what my heart rate is. And like I said, having that accountability partner there has been huge. So if you're interested in getting your own online personal trainer, you can check out Future. It's linked below in the description. You'll actually get your first month at only 19 dollars with our specific link. I hope you guys check it out because like I said, I tried it back in October and I've had to continue going because I love working out with Lori so much. The workouts are awesome. They're different every single day so it doesn't feel repetitive. It always keeps me learning new things and growing and staying extra motivated. And another way for you to get motivated to boost those endorphins via movement is to join in our Fit February challenge. You can find that primarily on Instagram and Facebook. All you have to do is share your movement or your Fitbit proof that you've moved for the day. Each day you share, you'll get automatically entered to win one of three gift cards, either a 100, a 50, or a $25 athleisure gift card to a store.
store of your choice. In order to be entered, all you have to do is hashtag FitFebruary and tag us on all three social accounts. We've been loving seeing you guys move, we're sharing you on stories, and we love seeing your Instagram posts. So keep tagging, keep sharing, keep moving. So yes, movement is key. I just got done going for a jog and a walk with the kids, did some stretching outside in the sun, and I feel so much better than I did about an hour ago, no joke. Number two, our second order of the day is serotonin. So we start every day, yes, with a serotonin smoothie. So we hear a lot about serotonin in regards to a better mood, like antidepressants, right? People take antidepressants to have more serotonin released into their brain but you can do this naturally through foods. So in order to create serotonin, you first need tryptophan. Tryptophan is found largely in our diet through things like pumpkin seeds, butternut squash seeds, nuts like walnuts, soy products like tofu that we eat a few times a week are super high in tryptophan. Oats, which we no joke eat every day. Potatoes, which we no joke eat every day. Cauliflower, which we probably eat every other day, mushrooms, which we've been eating a lot of lately, and most importantly, leafy greens. So that's why we pile high this green smoothie with leafy greens. A second misconception about serotonin is that it all happens up in the brain. It actually happens in the gut. 90% of serotonin is produced in the gut. You hear a lot about the gut-brain connection, right? So besides being really rich in tryptophan, a plant-based diet is also very high in fiber. Fiber feeds the good bacteria in our gut, which in turn creates a healthy gut, which means more serotonin that is released. And you have this cyclical gut-brain connection that is working to help you, again, create more serotonin, be happier, feel better, be more proactive. It all works out amazingly, and so we start every day with, yes, a serotonin green smoothie. So while this is a serotonin smoothie, there are a lot of ingredients going into this blend that check off each category. For example, foods that are great for oxytocin would be healthy fats and magnesium. So the perfect ingredient would be hemp seeds, which are healthy fats that are super rich in magnesium. If we wanna boost our endorphins, we'll add in cacao for that natural energy rush. Our dopamine-inducing ingredients are turmeric, which is a fantastic root that's also amazing for preventing cancer. It's highly anti-inflammatory and we're also going to be adding in some, again, omega-3s that are amazing for dopamine. Dusty had mentioned that there are foods that are high in tryptophan, which is a precursor to helping the body produce serotonin. So some tryptophan foods that we're putting in are our dark leafy greens. And I just realized another food ingredient that's also super high in tryptophan, sea veggies are number two on the list. So we always add dulcet into our smoothies, it's super high in iodine, great for the thyroid. Apparently it's also amazing for serotonin. This is gonna be highly anti-inflammatory, it's gonna make you happier, it's gonna relieve pain, it's gonna make you feel lovey-dovey, and it's gonna give you that instant rush of satisfaction. So let's blend it up, and it's gonna be chocolatey and delicious. This is like chocolate strawberry green smoothie. It's not the prettiest, but it's super good. If you guys want the written recipe to our serotonin smoothie, along with tons of others that can be found on our channel, you can get them all in one spot on the Eat, Move, Rest meal planner. As always, it's linked in our description. So Dusty gives me a hard time. He's been calling me Dr. Seuss because everything I do and say has to rhyme or be like an acronym or something. So on that note, this is our chocolatey strawberry serotonin smoothie. And yes, do something extraordinary is our acronym for dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins. <laughs> I got them out of order. Wait, I thought of a new one. Dose, D-O-S-E. How to get your daily dose of the four happiness chemicals. I like it. So I guess the main thing too to also realize with all of this is that it's not necessarily to just figure out how to live this blissed out, like always happy, always positive life. Imagine like you're standing against a wall, right? Some resistance is good. In fact, in order to be strong and to feel present, you sometimes need a little resistance, right? And you're pushing against this wall and you feel solid in that. If that wall disappears, we tend to lose our balance. If we're just always blissed out, always happy, it can actually be harder to maintain that healthy balance in life. So these tips and tricks are more about staying strong and not necessarily combating, but taking the tools into your own hands or putting the tools into your toolbox when you aren't feeling your best, which is natural, normal, and healthy, to then say, 
I'm gonna try this today. And then it comes down to action and being disciplined, like Aaron said before, whether it's a workout or making healthy food, the most important thing is to be knowledgeable, right? To understand, oh, this food is good for this and exercise is good for this, but then to follow it up with action. So no matter what you're doing, how you're feeling, it always comes down to staying diligent and being disciplined. And it's not about discipline in like a militant, scary way, but discipline in a self-love way. Like I love myself so much that I'm going to feed my brain with healthy foods and exercise my body. So again, just another way to look at things. It's not about avoiding the negative thoughts, feelings, emotions, etc. It's about equipping yourself with tools to be happy, healthy, strong, positive. And yes, full disclosure, I've actually made a video last spring about my mental health journey and struggles. Yes, I've been on and off of antidepressants. I've been an anxious, crazy, mentally ill person since I was a kid. But again, it comes down to staying diligent and making sure that you're working towards things every single day. In fact, this morning I woke up feeling so lousy. I was anxious, I was groggy. We even got in a little argument this morning because I wanted to go for a run and Aaron wanted me to watch the kids and it took a little time, it takes a little patience. After my run, after my smoothie, now I feel so good, so much better, and it takes, like I said before, some awareness followed up by action and the discipline to continue making the right steps. Dr. Seuss over here, I told Dusty I prefer moon stewing to sunbathing. Moon <laughs> stewing. Moon So like I said before, serotonin is the happiness chemical. Other activities to generate more serotonin are things like getting out in nature or forest bathing. That's something interesting you can look into. Soaking up the sun, which is why we're in Florida in the first place, because like I said, I could use all the serotonin I can get and the sun definitely helps. Other things like we just talked about downstairs is having a healthy microbiome, a healthy gut to create more serotonin for the brain. And you can also do this by, again, eating tryptophan rich foods and consuming adaptogenic herbs like St. John's wort. One of my favorites is ashwagandha. There are even supplements like L-tryptophan and L-theanine and something called 5-HTP, which again is like a precursor to tryptophan, which is a precursor to serotonin. So these are natural supplements, natural herbs, and they help so, so much. Okay, so the kiddos are asleep and we're gonna take a quick cold plunge into the cold swimming pool. I'm gonna work my way up. Dusty has already done a cold plunge in the ocean. I barely put my toes in the other day at the beach and it was so insanely cold. I couldn't even imagine getting into it, but I really wanna challenge myself because I feel like I need to like snap out of it. And cold plunges or cold therapy are one of the best things for dopamine. So a lot of us have dulled dopamine receptors because we live in this instant gratification world today where everything is at our fingertips in a matter of moments. So we've talked about in the past how to kind of recalibrate or reset your dopamine receptors and something like a digital detox where you avoid all screens at least for 24 hours, maybe for longer, can really help to reset. So where you go outside and you smell a flower and that ignites your dopamine receptors so the simpler things in life or you can look at it another way and do things like manifestation concentration or achieving or accomplishing bigger goals or tasks kind of like this cold plunge which may seem small but it's actually kind of a big deal so doing things like that can do wonders for your body so think about where you're getting those dopamine hits from and are they good for me or are they bad for me so challenge yourself to do something challenging to meet a goal find something that's a healthy dopamine hit you might be wondering why cold plunge like what is this all about I'm gonna tell you guys to go check out Wim Hof and read about the Wim Hof Method. This guy's wife committed suicide. He was in the deepest, darkest depression of his life. And on a random day in Holland, he decided to jump into the freezing water and it changed his life. It pumped him up, it got him going, and it changed his brain systematically, time after time. The more he gets in the water, the more he can do. He's climbed Mount Everest in nothing but gym shorts. This guy is a machine. Like Aaron said, we are virtually dopamine numb. We're so used to so much stimulation. Nothing excites us, nothing gets us going, but this will. So I definitely challenge you guys to 
fill your bathtub with cold water and sit in it for one, two, maybe five minutes. Get in the ocean or get in some freezing cold water. Last February, we actually cut a hole in the ice back home in Nebraska and we did a real polar plunge into the freezing cold ice water and we each spent a minute. It was insane, but it really gets you going. So that's what we're gonna do now. Okay, here we go. I'm already cold, so. Aaron was worried that it was not cold, but getting out, especially, it's almost colder getting out because the air is so cold. But yeah, we're gonna do the ocean, try this at home, do it in your bathtub, cold plunge. So we are fresh out of the pool and shower and getting ready for our dopamine dinner. I just wanted to elaborate a little bit on this chemical in particular because it's super fascinating being that we are social media influencers who are constantly being hit with little surges of dopamine. All of these little hits throughout the day can wear away at our dopamine receptors, which can ultimately make us feel more numb, right? So you look at a smoker who has gone from one cigarette once a week to three packs a day, or even a coffee drinker, that same amount of coffee every single day isn't gonna make you feel the same unless you keep drinking more and more and more. If you really wanna figure out our inner workings as mammals, let's look at an animal. So a monkey gets a hit of dopamine when they find a low hanging piece of fruit that they're able to grasp. The closer they get to it, the more that dopamine surges until they finally grasp the piece of fruit, at which point the dopamine hit stops. In order to feel it again, you have to keep doing and acting. Do good, feel good. Do better, feel better. Do even better, feel even better. We are wired for survival, meaning we don't feel good all the time. So it's okay when you feel bad. Just hearing that alone made me feel so relieved. Like I'm not broken just because I don't feel on cloud nine 24 seven. It also empowered me to know that there are certain things I can do to release more of these, to build up these chemical pathways in my brain by taking new actions, doing new things, to grow as a human and to ultimately be happier in these four different ways. So yes, unfortunately these dopamine hits are so short, like Aaron said, you have to do more to feel more. But the brain evolved for survival not to make us feel good. So if the dopamine hits lasted forever, we wouldn't have to do more. So those dopamine hits last just long enough until we need to eat again or until we need to exercise again or do these certain things. So this is all about survival, spurring us into action. So do more to feel more. Try new things. Jump into cold water to feel something new, right? Skydive, take scuba lessons, take guitar lessons. Again, meet a new person, go on a date. Like anything new and fun is going to give you that dopamine hit. But conversely, we are getting hit so often, like Aaron said on social media, that we often need to fast or do a dopamine detox where we abstain from these dopamine inducing activities to therefore feel more of a hit next time. So we do a dopamine detox on the weekends or we abstain from TV or we don't eat as much sweets so that when we do have that piece of chocolate, we're that much more satisfied with less. And now it's dinner time and as you guys know, one of our favorite things, actually like everybody's favorite thing, is eating new food, trying new recipes. So we put a new curry, a pan in curry, we've never made it before, in the slow cooker and I'm chopping some tofu, which we said before is actually really high in tryptophan, which is gonna help with serotonin uptake. It's just amazing for you all around. But again, super exciting, right? New recipes, new food, time to sit down with family. Like, these are good vibes. Last but not least, moving on to oxytocin, which is the lovey-dovey feel-good chemical, especially released as a new mama bear with a cuddly little baby. So this is the hormone that is released every time you breastfeed. It's what encourages your letdown and skin-to-skin -skin contact, cuddling, kissing, hugging, expressing your love through snail mail for Valentine's Day, perhaps. So this is definitely the month of oxytocin, and it definitely makes me feel better than I ever thought it would, because I was never really a like touchy-feely, hold hands, hug and kiss kind of person until becoming a mom and a wife. Something that induces oxytocin is having your teething toddler rip at your nipples uncontrolled. <laughs> Sitting in bed half, half clothed at night, having a 
toddler and a teething baby chew on your nipples simultaneously. Chew on your nipples? <laughs> Stop! There's no better way to get an oxytocin boost than from bonding as well as arousal and touch and self-care and these things sound so sensual but it's really as simple as kicking your feet up at the end of a long day and watching a fun movie together and cuddling up under a blanket with your fam. And if you're alone, it could be as simple as using some body oil and giving yourself a massage and using some aromatherapy, taking a nice bubble bath, simple things like compassion and trust. And there are foods as well, such as healthy fats and magnesium. So every night before bed, I slather the magnesium on my legs and it definitely helps me to relax and just feel super cozy and good. So there's a phrase that goes, don't ever let yourself get too hungry, angry, lonely, or tired. And I started to tie those back in as I was thinking about each of these four happiness chemicals. So if you think about don't get too hungry, that would mean maybe you're needing more dopamine, a really good meal. Don't let yourself get too lonely. Maybe you're needing more oxytocin or the love hormone. So some company from a loved one, some snuggle time. Or if you think about getting too tired, I think about endorphins. So maybe you need to exercise to give yourself that little boost in your metabolism and your energy levels. If you're feeling a little angry, maybe you need more serotonin. Go sit in the sun, watch a funny movie, have a good laugh. <laughs> All right, you guys, so go get your dose of dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins. <laughs> yeah, so this has been a super fun video. We learned a lot while making it. We hope you guys enjoyed it. If you wanna see more videos like this, like breaking down kind of the science, but also like making it practical, let us know in the comments below. Like always, check out the meal planner. That's something we're super proud of and has been helping so many of our friends and followers lately. And be sure to check out Future as well because it has been doing wonders for me, giving me all those endorphins every morning when I sweat. Totally. It's definitely a game changer. In the meantime, you guys know what to do. Eat, move, and rest your best. Peace. Bye, guys. Bye Say bye. Bye-bye. <gasps> Max, you behind the camera? Yes. Are you running it for us? <laughs> okay, say so bye guys. Bye guys. Bye guys. Goodbye guys. Say much love. <laughs> yeah. Say, I can do anything. I can do anything. Say oxytocin. Oxytocin. Say serotonin. Serotonin. Say, I feel good. I feel good. Say, this is a good life. I feel fabulous. I feel fabulous. There are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better. Eat, move, and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanzics. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.